but let's make a, a nice big lump of muscle here and it has lots and lots of fibers in it and all of those fibers are like wrappers around little long worms, okay? Am I in good position here? Am I out of the way? Okay. So at the end where the meaty part runs out, you still have those fibrous wrappers and they attach onto a bone, so make kind of your standard iconic dog bone. Okay, so at that attachment site, they send little fibers into the periosteum to make a good firm attachment. We were talking about that earlier. There's a transition between the tendon and the rest of the muscle. And at the transition point, there's a particular kind of proprioceptor and it's called a Golgi tendon apparatus you know it's more awkward than you'd think to write from the side I'll just say app everyone has apps nowadays and then there's another proprioceptor which is blue, and it's found in the belly of the muscle, and that's called a muscle spindle cell. Okay, so when we put a needle in, a lot of times we're aiming for one of those. or we're aiming for one of these because that's where the nerves are and you can get a stronger effect by influencing the nerve and I have to explain this to massage therapists all the time because they tend to think of loosening up a relaxing muscle as if it were a lump of steak or something you know this kind of inert tough thing and so you pound on it for a while and put some sauce and maybe it's going to get soft you know but but really a muscle is very responsive very intelligent you want to persuade it so if you shorten the muscle spindle cell by the way it's an elongated cell both of them are elongated or shorten towards the attachment site the Golgi tendon apparatus you essentially turn off the cell. Think of a coupling on a um, railroad car, right? If you push it together, boom, it just frees up and then it can go long. The more you just try to stretch against it, the more it resists that. So you want to persuade a muscle to release by shortening towards the origin at the point where the kind of the meatiness comes down to a tendon or in the belly of the muscle, bring both sides of the muscle towards each other to unhook or loosen up that. You can also do the opposite by yanking on them and stretching them and wake up a muscle that's been turned off traumatically. The um, nerves are there to give you position sense and more importantly, help you sense load. So if I hold this out and ask you to take it, your hand does not fall to the floor when I add the weight. You don't have to think about it. Your eyes could be closed and you would still do that perfectly well. And when I pull it away, you don't slap yourself in the face <laughs> because, and you don't have to think about that. That happens within the muscle. It's not part, even to the cord. It's not part of your brain. It's, it's a sensor within the muscle that helps the muscle automatically adapt to load. Think of how hard it would be if we had to think about bend this muscle, stretch that one, touch here, extend this one, you know what I mean? It would just be impossible to move. So, so much of this has to be built into the way in which the muscles function. So in locating points, one of the things you'd be looking for 
if you think of it this way, is that kind of nerve bundle.